Hey guys, in the previous videos we talked about these beautiful letters and sounds that they represent and today we're going to add some more. More specifically, it's going to be U, its long variant U, and diphthongs O, AU, EU. Let's start with the basic vowel U. Now the pronunciation is similar to what you would say in this English word, although it's more similar to the British pronunciation because in American English you could hear something like look, which is actually closer to schwa sound. And in Czech, make your lips nicely round. U, U, look, look. And look is actually a Czech word and it means bow, like a bow and arrow. Another nice word with U sound in it is, for example, ulice, that's a street. U on its own can be also used as a preposition and that means at or by or near something. Like u domu would be near the house. U has its long variant and it is written in two ways. It can be u s kroškem, which means u with a little circle, or u s čarko. That's, a, that's u with a typical mark that in Czech signalizes that the vowel is pronounced in its long form. For both of these variants, the pronunciation is exactly the same. It's long u. Something that you would say, for example, in the English word doom. And doom really is a Czech word and it means house. Another example of long u, which is written as a u s kroškem, would be, for example, in the word domu, meaning home, as in the direction. So, eat domu means to go home. Now, as you see, u s kroškem, or u with a little circle, is always used either in the middle of the word or at the end, never at the beginning. And that's because for the beginning of the word, we would have to use us charko. And that's this one. A good example would be the word uspiech, that means success. Or maybe uhel, that's an angle. So the rule is us kroškem is used in the middle and at the end of the word, U s čarko is used at the beginning of the word and the pronunciation for both is the same. Now, of course, there are some exceptions here. U s čarko can actually appear in the middle of a word, but that happens only if the word is a compound word. For example, trojúhelník. Now, we know that uhel is an angle and it really is the root of this word. And before this word, we use troi, which is a word that means that there are three of those. So, you probably guessed what this word means. It is a triangle. Another type of words that has us charko in the middle is words with prefixes, like neúspěch. Again, úspěch meaning success, is the root of this word and it starts with us charko. And so when we add the negative prefix ne, we still have to write it with us charko, this time in the middle of the word. And of course you probably guessed what neúspěch means. It's unsuccess or failure. And the last group of words in which you can find us charko in the middle is loan words. Like, for example, scooter, which is a moto scooter, or tura, that's a hike. All right, so there are these exceptions, but you don't have to worry about them too much because there are not that many of them. And also, if you are only reading the text and not writing it, then the pronunciation of us charko or us kroškem is exactly the same. It's long u. Now, let's talk about the diphthongs. Now, of course, diphthongs are combinations of vowels and they are pronounced as if we want to pronounce one smooth sound. So we glide from O to U in one sound. Like, for example, when you say an English word low, so the diphthong is pronounced O, 
like in the word posat, that's to bite, or pavok, that's a spider. O is actually the only diphthong that you will find in the originally Czech words. Unlike the other two diphthongs that we are going to talk about today, au and eu. So au really is only in loan words. It's pronounced similarly to what you would say in the word cow. Actually, I can think of one original Czech word where it is used and it's actually this diphthong on itself and it is au as an interjection and that means ouch so you would say it when something hurts and then you can find it in loan words like uh, auto that's a car or sauna and that's of course sauna similarly eu is uh, used in loan words like for example euro when we talk about the currency or pneumatica and that's a tire all right, so this is again a horrible mess, so let me put it into a nice table. All right, so that looks much better when we have it in one table now. Uh, you can, of course, download this table through the link in the description. And now you probably know what's coming next. It's the test. So, of course, I will write a word on the whiteboard and I will give you some time to read it. You can, of course, also guess what the word means and then after the time is up I will say the word myself so that you know that you pronounced it correctly. If this time is too short for you of course you can stop the video for a moment. Stool. Stool. That's a table. Kura, kura, that's bark as the material on a tree. Tura, tura, that is a hike. Usta, usta, that's a mouth. Uhel, uhel, that's an angle. Uhel, uhel, that's charcoal. Pěti uhelník, pěti uhelník, that's a pentagon. Kopel, kopel, that's bath. Au, au, that's ouch. Euphoria, euphoria, that's euphoria. Autobus, autobus, that's a bus. Neuron, neuron, that's of course neuron. Automat, automat, that's some kind of a machine, like for example a slot machine would be automat. Papoušek, papoušek, that's a parrot. Scooter, scooter, and that's a moto scooter. I'm sure you did a great job and I hope that you liked the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tune in next time because again, we are going to talk about something interesting related to the Czech language. Have a great day.